It travels on tracks, is capable of snaking round curves and up inclines, as well as adjusting to varying tunnel widths. This new Falsework system supplied by RMD Quickform was designed to meet the form work challenges of the second vehicle tunnel under the Tyne River in the UK, which is currently under construction. The 21 metre long unit is actually made up of three sections. Paul Lawton of RMD Quickform says the challenge was to deliver a whole slab travelling formwork system with a two metre high variation which could be operated without crews working at height. The reason it's in three sections is to allow for a little bit of articulation because as the tunnel goes up, it gradually curves around. So you need the adjustment between the units so you can make this side slightly longer, the other side slightly shorter to go around the corners. The system also had to handle a 6% incline while casting a slab that was up to 8.5 metres off the ground. As you can see from the rebar that they fixed for the next pour, the changing gradient becomes quite significant. Two of the six legs on each of the units were specially designed to accommodate gradient changes. The centre leg of each is a hydraulic leg. And this means that you can actually lift the system up on the hydraulics, adjusting the height. Double flanged wheel units are mounted to the four corner legs to allow the system to travel on rails secured to the base slab. The axle is a sliding axle, which gives you a bit of tolerance for moving to take up any uh, tolerances in the width of the tunnel itself. The system is advanced by a pair of three-ton hydraulic turf war units attached to the front legs. What will happen is the leg will be lowered and the load taken on this hydraulic leg. That will then release the load from the adjoining mega shore legs so they can be retracted. The system will then be lowered down onto the casters, onto the rails, which means that then it can be pulled along to its next position. The hydraulic systems in the Traveller makes life easier on site. So far, Philip Osang, project engineer for the subcontractor, says it reduced the slab pouring time significantly. There's no messing about the systems on rails. You release this, pull it forward, jack it up again, and that's you ready to roll. Dunn Building and Civil Engineering used the system to cast the nine 1,200mm thick roof slabs of the tunnel's north section. The formwork is part of the land tunnels that will connect to the immersed tube crossing. The 1.5-kilometer tunnel will link the communities of East Howden in North Tyneside to Jarrow in South Tyneside. Dredging of the river began last month to accommodate the immersed tube. The four 90-meter-long tunnel units, built and currently stored at a nearby dry dock, will be lowered into the trench early next year. Meanwhile, work on the roof slabs of the tunnel's north approach has been completed.